What's up, everybody? This is Colin Young with Knotfest. Melodic hardcore. Once thought extinct. Killed on stage by Jared Carmen from Trapped Under Ice. Now in an act of what can only be considered pure necromancy, one step closer. Leads the charge and bringing melodic hardcore back to life. Ryan, how the hell are you doing? I'm great, man. How are you? <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, great to have you. Oh, great to have me. Yeah, great mean. to have yeah. me. <laughs> Thank you so much. New album out right now. This place you know on Run For Cover Records. Yeah, I'm stoked. Tell me about the place that I know. Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. You That's definitely know it. it. Yes, that That's is. That's what bit. it's about. Yeah, that is, I, that is I, exactly honestly, what it's about. I honestly, I didn't expect to know the place, and I really do. Run For Cover. Uh, last record was Triple B. Yes. What what inspired the decision to go the run for cover route versus like the more traditional hardcore route? I think we're just trying to kind of see what we are capable of doing. And just like we wanted to tour with different kinds of bands. And just like right now we're on a tour with Drug Church. And yeah. like never thought we'd be on a tour like that, you know, or, you know, playing with Soul Blind and Lurk who are not hardcore bands. We're kind of like the the odd man's out You're the representation of. yes exactly yeah we're, we're representing the the northeast right now the hardcore scene but it's just like i think we just want to see what we could do and you know we met the run for cover guys and they were awesome and awesome. uh i got a lot of love for them so it was great well good man now you guys are younger from wilkes Bear. yes kind of a legendary little pocket of the world there dude it's in terms of music absolutely legendary I, in my experience I, like I'm not a local, but I know it's kind of hard to get over there. And like as younger, do, has Wilkes Bear accepted you as as their own? Yes, I think so. I mean, I've been I've been going to shows since I was like 12, I think. So I, you're in. Dude. Yeah, yeah. So are you post orphan crew or are you? Yes, are you I am po post orphan post crew. Orphan. But those kids brought me into it. I used to skate with those kids out, outside. Like, so you're a child of the orphans. Yes, I'm that's, a child of the orphans. That's I guess. huge. <laughs> Yeah, it's like uh, I'm sure. Do you know like Dana and all those homies? Yeah, so like Sick they all brought me kind of into the scene, and then like my first, like one of my first shows was because of Dana mm. ask asking me like, "Yo, what kind of music do you listen to?" And he's like, "Yo, there's a show like up the street from here. Like you should roll out." He's like, "I'll give you a ride to the show." What did you tell him? What kind of music do you listen to? I'm curious too. Like as a as a like one step closer is is like modern across the board in terms of just the vibe like the production what what inspires you what do you put on to be like i need something i need something right now this T is what i want to title do. fight i'd <sighs> say yeah title fight um one of my favorite bands of all time is turning point so like that's kind of the melodic aspect mm. of things um which is not modern so no fuck, which, fuck is, me, which right? is which is not modern but but title fight is yeah, more oh, yeah. modern and then like I don't know. I'm trying to think of like an older band. I, I I just recently I've been on a big title fight kick. So that's like why I'm saying that. There's right some now. hometown. Yeah. Hometown no, pride. Oh yeah. You I know? Did. And like, it's, it's cool listening to uh, like a, a record like shed that has so many hometown references and yeah, just yeah. like, just hits the, the that's right like place. me watching licorice pizza or something yeah I'm like oh i fucking get ice cream with that right you know? yeah but, well, yeah that's is awesome there, is there like um it's it's so fascinating with title fight because they were like the band that could have had it all that chose not they were just like yeah we're good we're done even to this day they could have it no all. they could come back and literally they could have play fucking madison square garden yes 100 percent. and you and it'll be one step closer to title fight you know <laughs> I, I hope so oh, man. what's what are the long-term goals of one step closer? What What do you want, <laughs> dude? I don't know what I want. I, I don't. I just want. I just want a tour. How old are you? I'm 22. Sick bastard. <laughs> 22. So you're loving touring right now. Yes, it? I love it so much. Good this God. is six weeks deep right now, and I wish it was 10 weeks. I never said that in my. When I get to six weeks, I'm like looking at the mirror, like fucking taxi driver. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, but uh, no, I love it. I. Uh, I love my friends and I just want to skate and play shows all the time, you know? So you love touring? Yeah. Wow. I, I want to love it as long as I can. You Pat from Drug Church? Oh, he fucking hates it, man. Touring? Oh, he hates it. Yeah. I, I mean, <laughs> granted, he's been chilling a lot more on this tour because I think he likes everybody a little I, bit. I, I really like that you like touring because that's yeah. like, you guys are doing it, you know? That's we'll That seems like the vibe is that you're like, you know what, we're just going to, like the run for cover stuff. It's like, all right, I swear we're going to be a real band, see what happens. And 
seems to be positive. Yeah, I, I mean, that's the vibe. I think we kind of reach a point where we're like, we either just hang this up and become like a, I don't know, uh, like a hardcore band that does a reunion in 10 years or Fuck five yeah. years, you know what I mean? Or we take the opportunity and just see how far we could take it. Because everyone in the band is like early 20s, like around my age. So it's like, you know, we either good for you, man. do it or we don't do good it. Good for you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> That's why you're skating. You're not breaking your fucking hip on tour. No, plus I sing. It doesn't fucking matter. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, the hip. Uh, I mean, the hip would get you. I just a lot of the, <laughs> a lot of the, uh, you know. I yeah, I'm just bullshit. Um, Matt from Vane just broke his arm skating on. Did tour. he? Yes, he did. Damn. Wait, the, that's the drummer, right? That's the drummer. Oh, what the fuck? That could be you. That could that could be that's, me. That's this. Not fast is anti skateboarding though. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude. Nah, nah, nah. But like, I think is that why they had people filling in for yeah, him on yeah. like the last show? Okay, broke it. Yeah, that is crazy. Broke like the like a disgusting break. Yo, some kid. Speaking of broken bones, some kid in Boston on this tour was stage diving during our set and came up to me afterwards, and his wrist was just like fuck yeah, fucking lit. like Harry Potter. And he was white as a ghost, and he was like, "Do you think this is broken?" And I was like, "Yo, you need to get this kid." It's not. Hospital. It's not broken. It's not. It's, it's gone. <laughs> yeah. It's There's literally, no bone. It's shot, dude. So he messages me like three days later. He's like, yo, I actually have to go in for surgery. And Thanks for telling yeah. me to go in for surgery, man. That was huge. Yeah, huh? yeah. And I was just like, well, well awesome, Is he a man. fucking superhero? Dude, I guess. Does he have not feel pain? Uh, dude, no. He was like actually like about to pass out. It was oh. kind of crazy. Oh. But I've never seen someone's bones so like actually fucked up Hell yeah. that it was just like. Like, you know what I'm saying? But it wasn't bending at the wrist. It was bending, like, down here. Oh. Yeah. Well, it was like clean. so I broke this hand about six months ago. Does it okay. look broken? No. You'd never know. Uh, How bad did you break it? Oh, it was gnarly. Yeah. But, I like, I really wish I broke the wrist and not the hand. Because then, yeah. like, doing just regular... Like, this pinky is a different length now. So oh. my whole life is different. Yeah, that's Just fucked. doing this, I can't roll a booger as easily, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Nothing will ever feel normal again. I broke my wrist snowboarding and i broke it clean like right here good for you and man. now it's fine so you know well, you're 22 you got the, yeah. you got the x the uh, the wolverine healing yeah dude I'm, I'm a superhuman good for literally you. yeah what's uh you guys staying on hotels on the store yet or? hell no we wow. we're trying 22 we're, we're, tr you, we're trying our best not to how's your back feeling fine so far hmm i mean we're six weeks deep so i guess pretty good right? that's impressive yeah but 22 is where it all falls apart <laughs> yeah that's the metabolism I, I'm Fucks all right, up. dude. I'm I'm good. You're you're a, you're a you're you know you're a slender lad. Yeah. What do you like yeah. to eat? Um, pizza, dude. Good for you. <laughs> Angelo's. Angelo's is yeah. very good. Angelo's. R.I.P. Angelo. Dude, yeah, he that passed was, away. Dude, crazy. Actually, I like Jerry's more though. The, we're, come on, man. Respect the dead. I dude, I I can't. I, I like I, it's Jerry's. It's the same more. recipe. It's though, the same right? shit, but it's just Jerry, made with a little more. Jerry, love. Jerry's makes it with love. Yeah. Angelo's makes it with so much hatred that it's just like I don't know. Well, not anymore. I mean, not Angelo, but somebody else oh, is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Angelo's step niece or something. Yeah, probably just hates everybody that comes in there. Yeah. Is Jerry's bigger on the inside than Angelo's? Yeah, they have like a seating area. Well, that's when was the last on. time you were there? 2017, 20, oh, 2016. Well, maybe you should come through and play something. Who's inviting me to Wolfsburg? <laughs> I don't you know. know. That's, come on. Yeah. I ain't torn. I'm not, I'm not built for this life. I found out. You know, dude. I mean, I, I gotta fly places now. You can fly to Avoca, man. I never. I don't even know what you <laughs> just said. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like 20 minutes outside of Wolfsburg. It's fine. Nobody knows. Good. Yeah. What's next for for one step closer? Um, we have some headliner shows in the Northeast. Wow. And who, then who are you? Who are you bringing? Uh, with you? It's us. We're doing some shows with Soulbind. And then uh, this new band called Broken Vow. They're like some younger kids from Connecticut and Massachusetts. Got to oh, support I, you the know youth. I love Connecticut. Come on. Connecticut's dope. There. Yeah. Yeah. My other band is everybody else is from there. What's the other band? Uh, Anxious. There you go. Yeah. So uh, just, you know, back and forth there all the time. So I got a lot of love for those places and those kids. So it's like I know a lot of the wolfs people would put on for us super hard. So I want to put on for younger kids trying to do the same shit so well, that's the way to do it yeah and i feel that's really been the wilkes bear uh, this is the way in wilkes bear dude it's yeah it's like the older generation either is like no fuck that kid i don't want to or they're like i would protect this child with my life yes uh like i, I think that's where we're at oh good yeah yeah which is good good <laughs> good for you man 
But yeah, Northeast shows, and then we go to Europe in June into July to do like a bunch of fests and stuff like that. And then we come home and do a couple fests here, and then we do another full U.S. support tour like mm. September and October. You're gonna be busy. Yes. Be a busy year. Yeah, it's gonna be sick for the lads and one stuff. Yeah. Let me ask you this about yeah. the name. I'm okay. sure you've been asked. <laughs> oh come on, man! <laughs> I know exactly what you're gonna say. You guys big Lincoln Park guys or what? Uh, we we do like Lincoln Park. You heard it here. But it's not because of that. Mm. It's not. What is it? It's just we're just bullshit and You're just like, man, I'm like one step closer from going to Jerry's Pizza right now. <laughs> yeah, somebody we, was we were, like, dude, we the, what did you say? We were in the Sheets parking lot, actually. Sheets, See, we pull into the Sheets out parking Sheets. lot. Superior, and the and superior like, brand. It is. Over Wawa any day for sure. Oh, I mean, I the only thing Wawa has on it is the uh, the Arnold the Arnie Palmy in the bottle. Oh, that is fine. Yo, actually, I don't know if you're like a chocolate milk head or anything like that. I, maybe when I was like eight. Yeah, but I'm, I'm thirty <laughs> and married, so I haven't had chocolate I mean, milk in a while. I mean, maybe you could get back. Ch- on it. Chocolate milk is for unmarried men. All there. right, all right. So, so me, so yes, I like the chocolate milk there. Good for you. It's buddy. fire, but no, mm-hmm. she's she's a superior, hundred percent. The, they got the Wisconsin cheese bites. Come Dude, on, yeah, there's the mac and the cheese treats. bites in general are fire. Come on, mozzarella sticks. Come on, One step closer, sheets. Collaboration. It's it's, it's a it's a pairing made in heaven. <laughs> uh, this was wonderful. Thanks, yes. thanks for talking to me today. Yeah, dude. Thank you for having me. Uh, good luck with everything. Fuck yeah. This, what is it? This place you know? Yes. Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, baby. One <laughs> step closer. Thanks for watching. Peace out.